Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to another segment of the MCR Mac and Me. My name is TJ. In this segment, we're going to try to quickly, and perhaps I'll be it briefly, run down uh, the list of Trump's nominations and picks of whether it be cabinet positions, staff positions, ambassadors, not that we have that many for are going to be an ambassador. Some of these, some of these are dependent upon Senate confirmation. There's a debate on a big debate on like three quarters of these names, and and some of them are uh, advisory positions, not dependent on Senate confirmation. So, you know, he Trump <laughs> Trump's bringing in his team, and it's pretty obvious it's his team. Okay, and when, hey, let's let's just start with the granddaddy of them all attorney general that uh oh boy you talk about you talk about the dc establishment going into cardiac arrest over that one yeah you know and well, uh, his trump has done through his entire political career and what he's done better than anything is expose people so we're going to get a good look at the republican party here as to who is worried about being exposed oh yeah and you know, we'll, we'll we'll start off with this. No one's perfect, and there has been some ongoing accusations and investigations in the Mac Gates. But you know what? This stuff's pretty old. And last I heard, he hasn't been charged with anything. You no, know? and and it it's more of the uh, he said there were good people on both sides, Russia collusion, uh, all of that crap. Uh, that's uh, that's yeah. all that is. You know, I I listened to Megyn Kelly a little bit off and on, and she made the comment, you know, when Trump came in the first time, he tried to play nice. He he picked an attorney general who immediately uh, uh, recused himself only. And and, uh, the guy, you know, what was it? Sessions, was it? Yeah, Jeff Sessions. He had had been the senator from Georgia. And, And he recused himself because of this whole Russiagate thing, which. By his recusal, recusal, you know, subjected Trump to basically four years of hell, you know. Yeah. And uh, he he went into the uh, attorney general's office, uh, got in the corner, went into fetal position and sucked his thumb until he got out. Yeah. Uh, So and Trump's like, you know what? Screw this. You know, Uh, we'll we'll move on to the next name because, man, we could rant rant here. Secretary of Defense, Pete Hegseth. I, I got to tell you, I didn't see that one coming. There's no way I would have ever guessed that. I, I don't I don't really know much about the guy. I know he's prior service. He's he's a lowly Fox uh, News commentator from the weekend. And I know CNN was mocking him for that. Uh, well, they but they, they're going to ignore his military service and his expertise to say, well, yeah, he's just a Fox weekend guy. Like he's a like he's the part time janitor or something. No, well, no disparaging remark towards janitors, but that that's what how they're acting. And and you know to 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 reference uh, the rising CNN star Scott Jennings, he he says uh, you know you guys are forgetting that he has he has a degree and a master's degree and I want to say Princeton and uh, Harvard. And so, yeah, I was going to say he, he's got he's got a master's he's got a he's got a bachelor's and a master's from Ivy League schools and he goes you know and he goes because uh, CNN panel was mocking him for being a Fox commentator and he goes he goes are we not commentators at this table here you know he, he's like he, he's like Scott Jennings is saying you know you're you're mocking a guy for the very occupation we hold ourselves here at this table. You it's know? not like he's it's not like he's Mac and TJ on the MCR. Oh, big time. <laughs> uh, here's one that's got heads rolling. Director of National Intelligence, Tulsi Gabbard. Here's one that's got heads rolling. Director of National Intelligence, Tulsi Gabbard. The 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 woman who was on the no fly list. You know what? If I were her, I'd get to the bottom of that little charade, you know? Yeah. Uh, Secretary of State Marco Rubio. While I didn't necessarily see that coming, it didn't really surprise me either. Okay, uh, and and there is some theory that as Secretary of State Trump wanted someone who has appeal to, we'll say, both sides. Both sides being uh, DC establishment, non-DC establishment. Okay, 
So Marco Rubio for Secretary of State, CIA Director John Ratcliffe. Uh, that that guy's a hardcore Trump supporter, from what I hear. Uh, Director of Health and Human Services, RFK Jr. They're saying that could be almost as big a problem getting confirmed as Matt Gates. I think you know. I think it was Megyn Kelly who said this. You know, you're you're dogging on RFK, and you forget about the current HHS secretary, yeah. the man who says he's a woe man. Wearing a yeah. skirt, you know, and just yeah, uh, all Rachel sorts of Levine, stuff. Dr. L- Rachel Levine. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know what Rachel Levine's real name is. Well, you know, well, let me say this about the R- RFK one. I saw the reaction from the left, and they had that Dr. Gupta on CNN, who's an ass clown. I wouldn't <laughs> let that guy. I wouldn't let that guy look at my dog. They all were. Oh, he's dangerous. He's this. He's that. He's the other thing. But none of them said he was wrong. Yeah and, I, yeah. and I think that's important. They didn't say, well, no, he's factually incorrect. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He does know what he's talking about. And we are putting all kinds of shit in our bodies. I mean, Europeans eat the same foods that we eat, but they, they're not, they don't have a, a, a massive uh, obesity problem because they don't have all these additives and chemicals and garbage in their food. Homeland Security, Christy Nome. Eh, why not? You know, they say because she... Uh... She, because she shot her puppy, that kind of kind of eliminated her chances of being a VP pick. But, uh, you know, Homeland Security, that's fine. Veterans Affairs, Doug Collins, you know, I don't know how much news is to there. Here's one that that is kind of an interesting pick. Interior Secretary Doug Burgum. And and if you connect the dots on on uh, Interior Secretary this interior secretary affects all sorts of things domestically that, oh, yeah. uh, that uh, causes, you know, has negative effects on business Bureau of land management. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't, I think the EPA kind of falls under that also there. And, and this guy's very pro business. So the suspicion is he's going to get government out of the way for a lot of companies you know, trying to be profitable here domestically. You and that know, doesn't, so, that doesn't mean pouring antifreeze in the sewer. So yeah, so grow up. So hopefully, the word is that could be a very good pick. EPA, uh, Environmental Protection Agency, Lee Zeldin. That that'll probably be an interesting uh, outcome well, the, there. One choice. of the first things I'd like to see happen there is the uh, beginning to shut down that department and eliminate it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you what I don't see here is Department of Education. I don't know. Well, that's because they're, they're wanting to, and I don't know if they'll be able to. I don't know constitutionally what they can and can't do here, but they, uh, well, it's not in the Constitution, so I suppose they could just do away with it. It needs to go. We, we've got 50 other Department of Educations. We don't need a 51st. And it's going to know, $60 billion out of the budget, by the way. Trump is saying he wants to just return that mess to the, back to the states, you know, do you know? Do as you see fit in your own state. You know, uh, that that's uh, that's it for the list of cabinet picks. I'm sure there's others. We're just hitting the highlights here. White House staff, chief of staff Susie Wiles, don't really know much about her other than she's thought highly, and I guess she ran his campaign or something. She did. She was co-chair of his campaign. I don't know who the other person was off the top of my head, but yeah, she's she's. Uh, I haven't heard anything bad about her. You know what? And a lot of times. Whoever runs the campaign, if it's a successful campaign, a lot of times they end up being chief of staff. If, yeah. if, and, if memory and serves often, me correctly. Here's the thing. They, they often also don't stay very long. You know, true, true. It, high burnout rate. Uh, borders are this. this I love this pick for borders are Tom Homan. I don't know if he could have picked a better guy for that position. You know, the guy not could if, produce not his not own highlight go, reel. If you're going to go hardcore. That's what, that's who you pick. You know, I, if, if anyone who doubts that pick, just, uh, Google him, do a search on him in, in, uh, YouTube. And, and you know what you could, you could, you could spend hours watching highlight reels of him basically going at it with, with AOC and, and idiots like her, you know? Well, she is uh, a moron. So, well, and you know what? 
and in the one clip I'm in particular that I'm thinking about, he had her head spinning so much. She just, she just had to go on to other things, you know, yeah. uh, Dec- uh, th- then they have Deputy Chief of Staff for Policy, Stephen Miller. I keep hearing that name a lot, so he he must be a hardcore uh, Trump supporter. Then there's another Deputy Chief of Staff, Dan Scavino. I also hear he's pro-MAGA. So s- some of these guys I don't really know a whole lot about, so can't really say anything about it other than FYI, everyone, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, Special Envoy to the Middle East, Stephen Whitcoff. Again, don't really know much about that guy, though it seems to be a big deal. Ambassador to Israel, Mike Huckabee. Uh, I kind of like that pick. I kind of like that. I, I like it as well. He's got he's got experience in in as being a governor and, and and running things, and he'll do a good job there, I'm sure. He's 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 very conservative, and I got to tell you, he's very pro-Israel. Uh, ambassador to the UN uh, UN United Nations. Elise Stefanik, uh, yeah, why not? You know, she she seems uh, mag re- enough for that. I would rather have had her in the house because I think that's a seat we could lose. Well, you take me to beat me to my point here. Going to my concern, some of these, uh, you know, governors, senators, uh, rep seat, representative seats. Yeah, we got to be careful here. <laughs> You know, yeah. I mean, Rubio is going to need to be replaced. Well, uh, here's, that, we're, we're in good hands there because Ron DeSantis is going to make the pick until the next until his term is up. So and that uh, Florida's dead red now. So I don't worry about that yeah. seat flipping. And, you know, Matt Gates is from Florida. So hopefully that uh, seat should should remain safe. But, yeah, you bring up a good point. Talking to a subscriber of ours. And we were going down the picks and I said, I said, man, I said, you know, I like some of these names, but we're already cutting it close in the house. And, and, and really we got, you know, you can say, yeah, we have 53 Republican senators, but do we really have 53? Could it be more like 51 or maybe it it is 51 Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins. I, I would do everything I could to drive them out of the Republican party. They're both useless bitches and both backstabbers. Uh, Lisa Murkowski, you, look, you, you said boo, she'd shit her pants and vote Democrat. Well, Susan Collins loves to be the straw that stirs the drink so she can wax eloquent and have everyone beg her to vote the way she's supposed to vote. Well, and, and speaking of Lisa Murkowski, I always love throwing in the fact that uh, – while she was primaried out, and I want to say this goes back to 2010, but forgive me if I'm off a couple of years. She was primaried out only to come back and win on a write-in. So I don't know what kind of politics they got going on up there in Alaska. Well, you they're know? goofy. The people of Alaska are goofy. They have so, a goofy voting system no one else would have. I don't know. What I don't the know it just, it just sucks. It sucks when, when someone like that is defeated in the primary only to come back and win in a write-in. Uh, going to frustrations of politics, I would tell you. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's it. That's it for now. Thanks, everyone. Uh, shameless plug. We're gonna we're gonna talk about something that's a little bit of a old news, but but it's uh, it's been kind of gnawing at me a little bit. So uh, uh, next in the next segment, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that particular topic. That's it for now. As always, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me.